Maybe. Maybe. They're mentally confused. I can hear you. Whoa, what the hell was that? Jesus, someone just touched me. <laughs> we enter this world knowing only life. Yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, Whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Tonight we investigate the ruins of an asylum for the mentally insane. Not much is known about this building's history, but it has been stood here for over 100 years and was home to the criminally insane. Tonight our adventures take us to Cheadle Asylum. This location would have housed men and women However, they would have both been separated into different sections of this building, depending on their mind and mental state. Those with the more mentally insane minds would have been housed together. Now on their passing, the energy of those people could be still confused to this very day. And those people are the ones that we want to find out are haunting this asylum. Are those who were classed as psychotic patients still causing a disturbance in this building to this very day? Oh wow, yes, the asylum. This place is creepy when you're just outside the front of it. Never mind when you come inside. Yeah. It's derelict, it's pitch black. There's, you can't see a thing in here. No, no. I feel like it's going to be a good night. It's, I think it's going to be uh, a place with a difference. Um, <clears throat> when we do indoor places, we've normally got the comfort of doors, windows, walls that are intact, floors that are intact. This place is crumbling. Um, so apart from the paranormal side, we've got the general safety of ourselves to look out for where we're going because it, we're being pitch black. We don't know where we're going to step into. I know what I feel. off of. I know, I know. <laughs> and I feel like we might get like EVPs in here tonight. Yeah, I think so. What we're going to have to be careful of though, because everywhere is open, um, there's no windows, doors, etc. We may get things that are coming out from outside. Um, but having said that, a lot of people have reported from this place capturing disembodied voices and what have you, so... Just maybe we'll capture one of those in here then. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to capture. The thing, my concern is with it being a place that's had mentally unstable people, it's very hard to come down onto their level, if you like, you know, um, where you might ask for a, a friendly response, they may get agitated and do something else. Because one of the reports I do believe is that people tend to get pushed, and that's not what we want here. No. With some of the floors on the higher higher uh, levels. We definitely don't, because you'll fall straight down. Yeah. And we'll die. And people will come and investigate us, but don't worry, we know how to interact with a kit. Well, Paul, we need to stay safe tonight. Yeah. Especially when we're doing our solo vigils, because if we don't, we're at risk of danger. It'll also, to me, it feels like a virgin location for an investigation, this. And it feels, because there was mentally minded insane people in here, mm. I'm not saying they were nasty, but criminally they're insane. still criminally insane. Yeah. If they're still here, mm -hmm. I don't want any nasty stuff to happen to us. And, I, you know, we've got to make sure we're protected today. Yeah. Should we go off and investigate? I'm ready when you are, mate. It's a bit dark. You want me to go first? Oh, I'll do it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Just go back to the camera. I'll tell you what just happened there. We walked off, and I don't know if we caught this. Yeah. It was a... Ah! 
again. Scream. Oh, yeah. Now that was weird. Yeah. Let's go again. Hopefully that won't happen again. <laughs> We are here in one of the many, many rooms, aren't we, Paul, of this uh, <coughs> asylum. And I tell you what, it's very, very creepy. Um, we're doing a dual visual because we want to communicate with the spirits. We've got some devices out, I'll show you in a second. Then we're going to try and communicate with the spirit using um, an EVP. Yeah, voice recorder. Yeah. Voice recorder. So over on the floor there, we have uh, a REM pod. So if anything comes near that, it will set off. There's one over there as well, which you can see. If anything comes near the REM pods in here, they can't be triggered by... Um, there's nothing, there's there's nothing in here. There's no lecky, there's no nothing. So if anything does happen, <coughs> it has to be paranormal. God, I wish something to explain. It's got to be, hasn't it? And we'll get the EVP out in a minute. But what we're going to do is call out and see if anything will communicate with us now while we're here. <coughs> should also just point out that uh, we've turned this into a reaction cam tonight, so you will actually see what's going on in front, as well as seeing one of us, myself or Sean, crap our pants. In the rear. Yes. So, let's call out, let's see what happens. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get a spirit to in, uh, communicate before. Oh, a spirit? spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've had one too, Yeah. In the um, VTs before, mm. we showed you, um, we just finished and then we had a disembodied scream yeah that was a bit weird it was wasn't it i tell you what i know it's a cold place mm, that was oh. interesting. did you get that moaning well i got something breathed past me i, I heard a moan as well yeah. or something from both of us then something felt like it went past my left arm and sean's heard uh, a moan what do you want to yeah footsteps for a second Didn't see anything there. That was weird. Is anybody here? Can anybody communicate with myself and Paul? We're not here to disrespect you, but if you were held in this asylum, maybe you were treated a bit oddly. Can you communicate with us? Let us know you're here. Does anybody like to play a game with us? We have a, a couple of toys on the floor and what you need to do is go up to them and touch those metal sticks that are protruding from them and if you do that you can make them make a noise and that will let, let us know that you're here. Can you do that? There's definitely something coming from down there. I thought so. I could have it. The building was completely empty, and both Paul and I were the only people and the only souls that were there. So hearing the clicking noises and the walking, that was incredible. You make them make a noise, and that will let, let us know that you're here. Can you do that? I've yet to find another explanation other than paranormal for the noises and the sounds. But what happens next is amazing. I'm just going to show you that uh, nobody there. You know, we're not tonight. We always are, but nobody actually knows we're here. So that looks quite easily turn into a hostel or something like that. Okay. So there's no one there. It is physically no one in this building and we're hearing noises it's really really weird paul i think yeah, that it's got an odd feel to it. yeah maybe just maybe we'll come into direct contact with i don't know spirit maybe we should get the evp out paul and see if anything yeah. with the evp oh. whoa whoa what was that hello that was something thrown Something was thrown at us and it was terrifying. The room was pitch black and you could not see anything at all. Maybe we should get the EVP out, Paul, and see if anything with the EVP. Oh, what the whoa, whoa, what was that? Hello? That was something thrown. After the earlier sounds, I was sure that something invisible was around us. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. Ghost 
tell you, that, that came off the roof. Let's just show the roof. Yeah, I mean, you have to understand that this place is falling apart. But that. That's a solid roof, Paul. I can't tell from it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty. That's solid. Yeah, that's, that's nothing really. What the f was that? That was something else, then. Something we thrown down a corridor. Jesus Christ. What is it? I don't know. But <laughs> it doesn't bode well, does it? Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh my God. You see a bit? I just saw a shadow. Don't just move your arm for me. Oh, I'm hoping you. Is it me? I yeah. Think so. um, that was me. My uh, You see, we're, we're here looking for something paranormal. But you have to bear in mind other people might have the same idea as us to come in here exploring because that's one of the things that people do urban explorers they come in here and idiots and vandals um, so we might not be alone in this building at the moment but we're looking for spirit and we might find i think we are i think we're completely alone well apart from what we've heard in here and somebody walking down there but well, there's no ever, there's no way of getting in here for a look no this is a solid room this is solid isn't it Try this yeah, let's let's go with the EVP, Paul. Let's see if we can get a reaction on the EVP. So we're going to start recording. Uh, Paul and Shaw. Just be careful where you're walking. That's <clears throat> uh, a lunatic asylum. Okay, is anybody here? Can you communicate with us? Let us know you're here. Tell us your name. Do you a, sorry, sorry. Were you a patient here? I've heard a response here audibly then. Yeah. yeah, let's go back and play that, Paul, because I think I feel like we got some of them. So I heard a female's voice. something there but I don't know what we picked or maybe on the edit yeah. as we play this back we'll clean it up it was definitely a, a, some sort of response that we heard audibly we didn't hear the sounds that I could hear with my own ears and that thought of court on the EVP but what we did manage to capture was something else that sounds like tapping in response to my questioning can you communicate with us let us know you're here yeah, it was clear that there was an entity with us and it was attempting to communicate. But how far would it go to make contact? So whether we can move. What did you? No? Hello? Are you walking around in here with us? Can you come into this room? Out there again. Again. Outside. We're hearing footsteps all over this place. We've got your pills. We've got your pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a that, that was very light, but it was something over there. It's what's where we're walking. Yeah. It's like the floor's sure half sure. out here. This is the floor. So we've really got to be careful where we're walking, otherwise uh, one of us is going to be disappeared. We don't want that to happen. Yeah. Not on this show. I'm sure, once that he won't carry me. He's too heavy. Hi, Bob. Too many birds. Yeah, that. That was a ten. Yeah. That was a ten. Yeah, I've been ten in here. And again, somebody need help. Is there a patient that needs some treatment? 
I just, if I whistle, can you whistle back? Ready? No. No response to the whistle, but it's maybe these people, Paul, are just waiting in anticipation and maybe they're mentally confused and they don't know that we're here to communicate. Yeah. It's quite possible. I tell you what, we could do with sort of acting a bit strange ourselves and then maybe they're going to think we're patients as well. Perhaps, yeah. Do you know where we are? Hello? I don't know where I am. Oh, help me, help me. Nurse, nurse, I need help, nurse. Can you communicate with us, please? Nurse, nurse, nurse. What the f was that? What was that? I don't know, I'm sitting out here again. You could feel the intenseness of the energy around us and it appeared that Paul's idea to change the way we were communicating had worked. Nurse! 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 What the f was that? What was that? I don't know, I'm sitting out here again. With the noises becoming ever increasingly closer, I feared that at some point we could be in serious danger. Jeez, man, that, that was, that was like, super, super loud. That was, I think that was angry, Paul. That was an angry response. Yeah, that's not something falling. That was... That was angry. Breath. That wasn't debris. That was in here, Paul. That was in here. That came from in here. You okay? Yeah. Wait, wait, floor, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to be left alone? Are we bothering you? Oh, you okay? Yeah, just that's twice. I know I've got the floors a bit. Yeah, no, that's twice I've lost, lost my balance. And do you know what? I was doing that today. I felt like I was losing my balance. Yeah. It's weird. It's like something. Well, I suppose you would, wouldn't you? A little bit of sheer a bit, you know. Yeah. Disorientated. Are you trying to um, show us what you were going through? Have you, have you put in your condition onto us? What was that? That came from the back. It again. did. It you did. were pointing at the back as well, Paul. So. I know, I just hope I was going to the right part of the back. Because it's weird. This is just the energy in here. You can yeah, feel just, tense yeah. energy. And you just don't know where. There's an expectation, isn't there? Like something's about to happen. Yeah. I think it's... It, I mean, it is. It is happening. Yeah. Shall we uh, give it another go? Another on go on the EVP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the EVP. Give it another go, see if we get anything... You really have nothing to be afraid of. All we want to do is to talk to you, so if you can talk to us, this orange light here, if you can just talk into that, we might be able to hear your voice. So if, do you want our help? I'm a doctor, Sean's a doctor. Do you want help? Do you need medication? Do you want to escape? Was shock therapy done to you here? Ooh. Something brushed past me then. Yeah, I see that happen to me before. Did you feel it before? I felt, I felt it, it before. just now. Right. Yeah. I think we should play that back. Let's have a listen to that, Paul. Okay. All we want to do is to talk to you, so if you can talk to us, this orange light here, if you can just talk into that. We might be able to hear your voice. So if, do you want our help? I'm a doctor, Sean's a doctor. Do you want help? Do you need medication? Oh, yeah, we heard something then, that was a voice. There's something uh, there. Some... to hear your voice. So if, do you want our help? I'm a doctor, Sean's a doctor. Do you want help? 
yes. He was like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Very low. No way. That was very like, low. yes. It was very low. time. I hope you can hear this. The EVP sessions appear to be paying off. And actually, I'm still in shock with the following EVP. As Paul asks, do you need help? There is a clear response. And it sounds like I do. So if, do you want our help? I'm a doctor. Sean's a doctor. Do you want help? We also caught the following voice on the EVP at the same time, and it sounds like a disembodied whistle. Do you want to escape? This was an intelligent spirit, and it could hear our questions, but I believed it wasn't the only entity in the building. the whistle. I can't believe we got that. Yeah. Do you know what, right? And now let's let's um, call out, right? Yeah. And see if we can get a whistle audibly. Yeah. Can you if you whistled and we heard you on that tape then, thank you. We're gonna do it again. And I want you to respond. That was tap, tap, tap yeah. upstairs, like somebody was walking yeah. upstairs. Is there somebody else with us? Can you tap again? This very oh, faint, dude. very faint. Let me go here a sec. Where are you going? I'm just going to look in that corridor. I'll come just with you. Come on. Go. So we're going to check. Yeah. We're going to check the corridor to see if there's anybody here. Keep here. Seems like moving. With the activity increasing, it was now time for Paul and I to split off on our own individual investigations and explore further into the building. I'm starting my investigation on my solo. I mean, it's really bloody dark and freaky area. It looks like it could have been maybe a shower section or something like that. And I tell you what, it's dark, it's damp. And to be honest, I don't want to be here on my own, and it's actually freaking me out. Oh, oh, oh! Got two. So, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so scared. I hate this. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. On the floor. Let me tell you what I've got. I've got. Paul? Paul, Paul was going to go down here. Let's do an investigation. I'm just going to go and grab him before he does the investigation. Paul? Yeah. Look, this is too dangerous, this place, to do solos. Yeah. Right. I need to come in this room. Okay. This is freaking weird. What's just happened in here is mental. Right? Footsteps. Yeah. Already. <laughs> <laughs> it's too scary. <laughs> okay, look, I was stood here. I've got what I've got. I'm just going to show the camera what I've got. I've got a rem there and a rem over there. So if anything comes near the rems, it'll uh, it'll go off. Yeah. Um, if you come over here, pull over here. Mm -hmm. Heard footsteps. What do you need? Yeah. She's a line on, sort of like. Marble. Okay. Yeah, cool. It's mental. I'll tell you what. <coughs> I've got the office. Okay, you brave yours. Yeah. I'll stay here. Yeah. Okay. It's not. I'll let it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. Okay. Oh. Just picking his pockets. Let's get in the camera. So. Paul's going to. Do this solo. And uh, there we go, the spare cameras. Right. See you in a minute, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to go upstairs. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a minute. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Okay, while Paul goes upstairs, over here, I'll stay here, I'll brave it as much as I can. 
See, look at that. I heard some of them. Someone got thrown in there. Just as Paul left. And now there's a breeze, which I know there's windows in here and stuff like that. I'm going to call, call out. Whoa, what the hell was that? On screen then, there was someone on screen. I honestly felt scared in this area and I could sense that something was around me and it was getting closer. And when I caught the light on the camera, it confirmed my feelings. Call out. Whoa, the, what the hell was that? Now looking at this capture, it's a strange one. It passes my camera and then gets larger as it goes behind me. This, to me, had to be the start of a spirit manifestation. There is something over there that is just throwing. Why are you doing that? It's one of the reports is that people have been here before and things get thrown at them. In fact, one person supposed to have had something hit them. Obviously, whatever's here isn't of a reasonable mind. So me just asking them nicely not to do it doesn't necessarily mean that they won't do it. Who are you? Oh, what the hell? I don't even know where I'm, I'm backing up so bloody much. I'm, I'm going to fall down a freaking hole. I can hear you, which is really good, but say something. Tell me your name. Tell me why you're here. Don't have it. Oh, I think. It, splitting up was a bad idea tonight. I think we should have stuck together. I appreciate if you don't want me to be here, but I'm not going to be here for long. I'm not a patient, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. And I'm not... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to have a, a look. I'm absolutely bricking it. But I'm going to go and have a little look. I've got to watch where I'm walking. I'm just going to have a walk back over here. Is anybody here with me? Can you walk towards one of my meters on the floor if you're here? If that was you that showed yourself on the camera then. Can you do it again? Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay. Shish! No! This isn't right. This isn't right. Look! the hell was that? That was weird. It was just in here then. And I, I we didn't want to call this. There was an orb. I saw an orb. And then there was a light on the wall. And a tap at the back. Listen, I mean you no harm. No disrespect. I don't want any aggression. I just want to communicate friendly with you. I'm no harm, no threat to you. Are you here with me? Was that you that threw something at me? Can you use your voice? Speak to me. I heard something out here. I mean, it could be debris from one of these rooms, but it also could be something paranormal. I just don't know. I feel absolutely...
surrounded. I actually feel safer in here because at least there's some solid walls. But I can't see a thing. <coughs> Norvillus hasn't said a, a single word yet, which uh, isn't a bad thing, but it would be nice if it actually communicated with me. Oh, for the love of God. For the absolute love of God. Always clearly on edge. And when you're in this state, spirits can manipulate your energy and absorb it into their own. It would be nice if it actually communicated with me. Oh, for the love of God. For the absolute love of God. With all the voices and the sounds we've already captured, it was no surprise to me that the entities were getting stronger. We just needed to remain safe and out of danger. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. Do you mean me harm? Oh. No, it really was a bad idea splitting up. <coughs> oh. That is just some moaning going on. I appreciate what you're doing. I'm not here to harm you. Do you? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? I can't point over again. I can't see. That bloody thing, unless I turn the camera around. You're doing really well, I think. Were you tortured here? Did you do something really bad? Give me a sign. Go towards one of these devices on the floor. Touch the metal rods. Oh, Jesus, I've just had a shiver up my spine. I have just had... Oh, what the hell? I don't know where the hell to move at the moment. It just, it just doesn't seem to be anywhere safe to go. You know when you get that feeling that you should never have just done what you just did? Well, I don't want to be here. This is not for the faint-hearted. This is not for the faint-hearted. I f feel like... Oh. If you've ever stood in the most scariest place in the world and not been able to get away, well, this is it. This is it. Thank you for letting me know you're here and communicating with me. It's amazing. I really do appreciate it. But please be gentle. I hope we saw it. I don't know if we've seen anything here or what. I'm just going to go into this room. Nothing's affecting these meters in here. Okay. Now, I heard a drip then. That would have been natural. Yeah. Ooh, 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 touch me. Someone touch me. No. 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 No, someone touch me. Someone touch me. If there's any spirits here that are touching me, come closer. Come towards my meter on the floor. Set my meter off. With this meter over here. Tell me your name. that to me. Don't do it. I know you might have been mistreated, but please do not mistreat me. I come here with all utmost respect. That is the only... Oh, that's a weird thing to do. It's been on 
in dictionary mode. I haven't turned it off. And it's just said dictionary mode again. And I'm not saying that's paranormal, but it's very bloody odd because it was on. It was already in dictionary mode. Now it's just said it again. It's the only thing it's said. But that's its start-up, so why has it done that? Oh! Oh, Hot. It's not even like anything that's falling from the ceiling. It's, it's things being thrown. I'm going to have to go and have another look. I can't see a damn thing. I'm going to put the ovulus down here for a second. Jesus, someone just touched me. What's that? Paul had just been touched, and I'd had the exact same experience earlier. Ooh, 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 touch me. Someone touched me. No, no, no. No, someone touched me. Oh. Jesus, someone just touched me. This location was starting to get serious, and we both had no idea what was about to happen next. Something just it pushed. It wasn't a heavy push, but there was a push. The bloody, the, this was so unsafe here. I mean, look at the state of that floor. You do not want to get pushed. I'm not standing close to that, because I... What the hell was that? What? Oh, I'm backing away from that because that sounds like something coming in. There's all sorts, I mean, to be, as to be expected in this type of building, there's all sorts of weird noises. But some of these noises are weird, man. And I don't think the paranormal, I don't think the paranormal, I know the paranormal. Jesus. You know what? There's no quick and easy way out of this building. And if you're scared of the dark and you like horror attractions, well, I'll tell you what, this place is for you. Because this is weird. It's not normal. It's just not normal in here. It's not normal at all. I feel for anybody that was in here and had to enjoy endure any of this I do, I really do feel for you but you can't come towards me and do what you're doing you've got to show me some respect also are you still here? <coughs> Jesus what I'm doing is I'm swiping the camera around and I'm looking to see if I can see anything with the torch one way and that way just because these noises are not nice. What if this, you know, if that's some spooky paranormal, what if it's going to throw something on my head? Or there was a whistle. A real whistle. No way. You heard that with my own ears. There was a def definite whistle that just happened then followed by that if you're coming in come in oh okay maybe not don't bother just I'm running out of floor space to back up to now who are you Feels like there's a lot going on in here. Are 
aged about 10 years in five minutes. This was such a bad idea. Not just splitting up to do this. I mean, I don't know what, what Sean's encountering. I hope it's not half as bad as this. But, you know, coming in here without anybody knowing anything could happen to us. Nobody's going to know. And this is... Uh, then what the hell was it? Something just touched my leg. Something, oh, for the love of God. Something just touched my leg and then something happened over there. And... That's me trying to get my balance. Holy crap. I am doing my best not to get freaked out by you. And I think there's a certain amount of intelligence behind what you're doing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ghost dimension. Ghost dimension. That was weird. That shouldn't have happened. Whoa. It's the rem. The rem's going off. Thank you. Okay, so I guess you're close to me now. Thank you. Turn it off. Thank you. Well, that's good, because in this place, there is no electric. So that went off. That went off for real. You know, we're, no interference at all. Thank you so, so much. You can hear something scurrying around. Listen. Was there a flash on the floor then? Maybe I just saw something with my own eyes. I, I'm not sure. But there could have been a reflection of um, something on the floor. But I thought I saw a light, a light an anomaly. It's weird, man. This isn't safe. The building's not safe, but this place isn't safe. Show yourself on my camera. Please show yourself. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Where's that? Uh, thank you, thank you. Getting a response on the meter again. Definitely, I'm definitely not alone. Definitely not alone here. With the REM pod alarming, it was a great indication of the shift of spiritual energy in the building. One. Oh, thank you, thank you. Where's that? It concerned me that it was even closer than before. And with Paul experiencing the same powerful paranormal activity, this was turning out to be one hell of an investigation. There's no urban explorers here. This is weirdly, weirdly real. It's like starring in a horror attraction, this. You feel like, do you know what it is as well? You feel like you're frozen to the ground and you just don't want to move. Because if you do, Stuff's going to happen. OK. I'm going to come and see if you are willing to show yourself to me. Everything that's happening is coming from this doorway. It's like there's something in the doorway. I was stood there when something pushed me just now. And I'm pretty sure that there's nothing falling from it. Like I said before, if something's falling, it's not going to ricochet around the room. It's just going to fall straight down. What the hell was that? Just heard something. It sounded like dragging again. I mean, you can hear the, the tink, tink sort of noise of raindrops. I mean, there are little holes in the ceiling, but... Some noises don't sound like rain. I said 
pretty creepy place. I really advise you not to do this you just you've got no backup. Nobody knows where you are. Late at night. It's not smart. You're putting yourself into a vulnerable position. Just give me a, 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 a definitive sound. I can't even speak now. Bloody speech is going. Is that one of my... What the hell's that? I just saw a streak of light on the ceiling then. I just saw... I'm not going to say it was an orb. It was just like a, a streak of, of light went that way. Thin, long... I just hope we stay safe, man. Because this, you know, it's giving me right torrid time. No, see what I mean? Did anybody hear that? Must have heard that. That was, that was laughing. Like, yeah, yeah. Laughing. That, I mean, where's that coming from? A demonic, disembodied voice of a laugh. Just gonna check outside again. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I heard that, I heard that. I don't know if we picked that up, but there was a like a woman's voice, followed by a shuffle in here. This is freaking weird, man. I don't like it. I feel like I've been left on my own to suffer. And uh, that's probably what these people that were here went through. They suffered. They suffered horrible. For whatever reason. Criminally insane, I suppose. Murderous people. Oh, murderous people. That's why this place is so weird. It was not, it was like not nice people, it was the monsters. It was the monster people that were here. I heard that then. This is not nice at all. I'm happy for you to tell me to leave, but I want you to do something that I know that's what you want. I've felt you, I've heard you, I think I've seen you, which is all very impressive. And if you're trying to frighten me, you're not doing a half bad job at it. Oh, shit. I wasn't sure for a second whether that was just another a noise, but that was a lot louder. You're doing an amazing job, better than me, because my bottle's fast diminishing. Jesus, must be crackers to do this. <laughs> crackers, lunatic asylum, not a good joke. Okay, I appreciate what you've done, I really do. I do think that might just be enough for me. Have you got one more thing? One last uh, hurrah? Get your med... Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Another voice. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? There's something up there then. I don't know whether it was on this side or on the floor above. There was some a noise. Oh, I've had enough, I'm out of here. And even I can't do this any longer. Yeah, I'm gone, bye.